Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see properties of structural steel. We have seen uh, what is structural steel. It is a rolled steel section. That is that section which is manufactured in steel which has standard shapes, standard sizes like I section, L section, angle section, T section, channel section, various sections are available which is manufactured in factories which is transported to the required construction site then it is either welded or bolted so those sections those steel that steel is known as structural steel. So now we will see the properties of that steel. So the first property of structural steel is obviously the density. So what is density? We know that density is mass per unit volume. Na? What is density of a material? It is mass per unit volume. But what is the value of that density for the steel? So remember the density of steel or structural steel is 7850 kg per meter cube. If you want to convert it into kilonewton per meter cube then it will be 78.5 kilonewton per meter cube remember this it is 7850 kg per meter cube or 78.5 kilonewton per meter cube then the next property of structural steel is specific heat so what is specific heat it is defined as the amount of heat which is required to raise the temperature of 1 kilogram of a substance by 1 kelvin now what does that mean for example what material we have now we are looking at steel okay so if you heat this steel if you give heat to the steel how much kelvin of heat is required for 1 kg of steel how much weight we are taking we are taking 1 kg of steel okay so for 1 kg of steel how much kelvin of heat is required to raise the temperature that is that will be called as specific heat capacity see it is the amount of heat how much heat is required to raise the temperature now what is the substance substance is clear we have structural steel we are looking at properties of structural steel so how much heat is required to raise the temperature of that substance that is steel and how much quantity of that particular material we are taking we are taking one kilogram of that substance and we are heating or we are raising the temperature by one kelvin so that is known as specific heat capacity so the specific heat capacity of steel is 486 joule per kg kelvin remember this value specific heat capacity of steel is how much it is 486 joule per kg kelvin then the next property of structural steel is Poisson's ratio. See, it is the ratio of change in width per unit width of a material to the change in length to its per unit length. Give you an example. What is Poisson's ratio? It is change in simply it is change in width. Uh, width I will denote it by B and change in length. So it is simply the ratio of change in one dimension to the change in other other dimension. And why this change will happen if that material is strained to certain limit. So it will be a result of strength. This Poisson's ratio will be a result of strength. Uh -huh. But how much is the value of the structural Poisson's ratio for the structural steel or the steel? It is in between 0 0.27 to 0 0.3. Remember this. See, in exam, if it is asked like this, you will have to write it all this. What is the density? What is the value of st structure? What is the value of density for the structural steel? What is specific it? Then what is the value of that? What is Poisson's ratio? What is the value of that? You will have to write in that format. So, elastic modulus or modulus of elasticity is the measurement. Measurement of what? Tendency of an object to be deformed when force or stress is applied to it. Let us consider that you have a small cross section. A cross section is like this. 
square cross section you have if you are applying certain load or certain stress over it but it has some tendency that it is not getting deformed see what it's what it says elastic modulus or modulus of elasticity is the measurement of tendency of an object to be deformed when force or stress is applied to it obviously if you are applying some stress to a member to a structure to a material it will deform so that property of material will be called as elastic modulus then so what will be the typical values or the standard values of uh, elastic modulus for the steel it will be in between 190 to 210 gpa now what is gpa giga pascal it will be in between 190 to 210 giga pascal then the yield strength so what is yield strength see yield strength or the yield point is the stress stress at which an object deforms permanently this word is important if it is that point for example let us take the same example this is the material now first you have applied a load of 100 kilo newton i'm talking in terms of load okay no no it is in terms of stress now i'll explain in in terms of stress for example if you applied a stress of 10 newton per mm square first then you applied you increased it to 20 newton per mm square so what happened after the removal of this load or stress the material regained its original shape at 20 newton per mm square so what you did you again increase that stress now the stress is 25 newton per mm square so what happened let's say that again the material regained its original shape now exactly at 26 newton per mm square let us consider this is just an example huh? let us consider that at 26 newton per mm square the material didn't or does not regain its original shape and it permanently gets deformed means it will not regain its original shape and it will gone to that limit where it will not return or it will not come back to its original shape so that strength will be called as yield strength so if my material is not coming back at 26 newton per mm square so yield strength of that material will be this 26 newton per mm square clear this second sentence says what i have explained here now structural steel made of carbon has yield strength if you are using a structural steel that is made of carbon or it has some percentage of carbon its yield strength will be around 187 to 758 mp remember this and structural steel made of alloys see if it is made up of carbon it will have the range of 187 to 758 megapascal or mpa and if it is made up of alloys then it will have a value of 366 to 1793 megapascal that is mpa then the next property is hardness so what is hardness it is resistance of an object to shape change when force is applied if a structure or a material or something anything which is resisting a force if you are applying a force over it if you are giving some certain force over it and it is resisting to not go shape change that will be called as hardness it has another definition that it will be resistance to scratching if a material is giving you the resistance against the scratching that will also be known as hardness okay so structural steel which is made by alloys will have a hardness value of 149 to 6 to 7 kg you will have to remember these values huh? you can write first what is that property and you will give the values of those properties okay so it is having hardness value will be 149 to 6 to 7 kg 
then structural steel which is made up of carbon will have a value of 86 to 388 kg so this was the video on properties of structural steel thank you